this just came in as a garbage ass case. So, Matco, if you're watching, you gotta change that, guys, because this is trash. All right, trash. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Easy Tech Joe here, back with another video, guys. And guess what? We got another tool haul showdown here, right here for you guys, man. I got some Kinepex, some Snap On, some Mac tools. And a few more other things here within this tool hall, man. And I just wanted to show you guys with this, uh, show you, share this with you guys real quick. Uh, just a little quick tool hall, man. Uh, I guess I'm going to start here, man. This is the Matco Tools um, Hammer Drill. I'm sorry, Air Hammer. The Matco Tools Long Barrel Air Hammer, man. It's a uh, three inch, three quarter Air Hammer. 2300 blows per minute, man. This baby is a beast, y'all. You can see I just got it. I used it once, right? And as you can see here, <laughs> I already knocked some of the new tool smell off of it, guys. Um, see, what had happened was, right, <laughs> I was taking out this drive shaft out of a Volvo semi-truck. And um, the drive shaft didn't want to come out. So I had to get the enforcer to knock it on out, right? Well, I knocked it, right? Put this down on the ground. And when I touched the drive shaft, guys, it fell directly on my air hammer. And as you can imagine, me just getting the tool, only using it once, I was about pissed. Making sure it worked good, but everything works fine. At least now I know it's durable. Could any of you know about drive shafts? Let alone drive shafts out of a doggone semi-truck. Know that those drive shafts are heavy. And for one head, head to head, drop directly on this air hammer here. Hey, this baby is durable. It done, it done already survived and uh, uh unwanted attack on it right <laughs> but this air hammer uh comes with a five piece set here of of uh bits comes with the you know the basic hammer you know whatever these bits are called the shanks or whatever um and that's why i got it because i wasn't just buying this i was also buying the set i said hey if i'm gonna get an air hammer i'm gonna get this bits anyway so why not just go ahead and get it together and mac tools um i got it on a i'm sorry mac tools i got it on a um on a um special right they always give me with the specials because when they have specials it's always something that i need so i don't regret buying this baby at all and this baby is a beast man i heard people on youtube talk about it how it's the strongest air hammer in the bunch um and this baby survived that head on attack from that draft shot man so i really like it i really enjoyed it, man um yeah guys so you ever want a good air hammer, hey, I really, 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 really uh, will endorse Matco tools for your air hammers, all right? Um, but moving on, I'm going to go around this way. Um, we got the Snap-on 56-inch, I'm sorry, 56 ounces um, ball pin hammer. The big 56 ounce from Snap On. Um, I needed a big hammer, man. And instead of just buying a regular sludge, I decided to go the Snap On route with this um, with this uh, Dead Blow 56 ounce, man. And um, I haven't used it yet. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. But um, I've used one of my coworkers. He had, the, I think, the gray. I think they call it a uh, gunmetal gray or something like that. And that's what made me and persuaded me to go ahead and get this one, baby. And you know, if you know me, if you don't follow my channel, obviously, I am a fan of green tools. <laughs> so I had to get it in green. They, they had red on the truck. They had red everything on the Snap-on truck. I said, hey, man, if you ever want me to buy something, get it in green, right? So I had to order that. But hey, man, I wouldn't handle what I had to do. And it was great. Um, let's go right here. This is a light from Maxion. Maxion light. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of them. But they are a really, really good company, um, light, work light company, man. And um, I've seen videos about them. I had a Maxion UV light, and I freaking left it on a truck I was working on, and it disappeared. <laughs> so I got this to, to kind of replace that, man. Uh, it was a purple light. This one is green, of course. And it's a 720 lumen light. Um, it has different levels. Of course, low, bright, then brightest, of course. Um, and in the box, it came back here. It has a battery light indicator. And as you can see, in the box, it came fully charged already. So I like that. You don't really see that a lot where things come in the box fully charged already. 
and uh, yeah man came in the box already um, it has a magnetic base on it as you can see here so you can put it on your um, I don't know the truck you're working on the car you're working on a body frame so you can be hands-free um, and of course it spins uh, I want to say 360 it spins all the way forward and all the way back for your uh, I'm trying to do it one hand guys for all of your needs and your angles ah, but doing it one hand here but <laughs> you get the point guys and it's stay but it's not going to flick it's not loose it's not flinkering it's um it's it's like a detent so to speak it, it you put it there and it stays there in place and then if you want to straighten it up you just you see that detent it locks back in place guys i really like that um can't wait to use that you can never have too many lights guys never have too many lights in your arsenal you can always use lights forever like forever ever in the day right um but to keep going this tool haul man we got see um some matco tools and of course it was a special on them some matco tools mini pick set man mini pick set of course just your basic kind of pick set you know what i mean your hook your straight hook your 90 degree hook all that nonsense you know um of course if they go if they give me a color option i'm gonna get them in green right <laughs> But of course, it's just your basic kind of pick set. You know what I mean? Your standard pick set. Um, I had the Pittsburgh from Harbor Freight, the little orange pick set that they sell for like what a dollar. I had those forever. Uh, I had went through my second set. I was like, man, you know what? Let me get a good durable set. Um, I believe these come with a lifetime warranty. So if they do, which I will confirm that with my dealer, um, that's a good thing as well. You know, because we kind of go through picks if you kind of abusing them or whatever. But uh, these are for, you know, taking off the O-range, seals, your light duty work when it comes to those sort of things. If you need anything stronger, then get a bigger pick set, man. Don't, you know, don't abuse your picks. If you got a lifetime warranty, then that's, that's your discretion. But, you know, I always say use your tools correctly. You know, take care of your tools. Your tools take care of you. What I don't like about this um, set, though, is that it didn't come with a case. It came with this garbage-ass um, plastic case that you're going to basically throw away once you open it right i wish it came with a case um that you can store into your toolbox you know something like um icon do snap on do um i think even gear ranch i think theirs come in a case as well right um some come in pouches foldable pouches that you can store them in that you can be make portable uh this just came in this garbage ass case so matco if you're watching you gotta change that guys because this is trash all right trash but i do like the picks itself so that's a plus right that's always a plus um oh and about these these come with i think uh, oil resistant oil you know anti-slip grip um they're good about having good grip so i like that as well i think they have those on their screwdrivers as well i always like the matco grips um snap on maybe a little better depends on your your cup of tea right um but i mean can't argue with that, right? Can't argue with that. And speaking of gear wrench, I have a gear wrench, um, quarter inch ratchet, the 120 XP quarter inch ratchet, man. And this basically has a 122, 260 teeth gears inside of the head. Uh, many of you that follow my channel, you know that I did a two haul video featuring the three eighths version of this ratchet. And this is the quarter inch version of this ratchet. Of course, you get the locking flex head design here. Locking flex head design, the uh, push to lock, push back in to unlock. And if you need to, you can leave it unlocked and you can work with it freely, right? And that's what I like about it. I really like the gear wrench version of the locking flex head. Um, I wish a lot of people kind of took that into consideration with this design here. Um, gear wrench is made by Apex Tools. So, um, as far as I know, man, they make pretty good tools so far, as far as I know. And uh, this is nice, man. I, I like the 3 8 version so much that I had to get the quarter inch. And I'm probably going to get the half inch, too, just to have a complete set. Um, this is the chrome without grip. The 3 8 that I have has the rubber grip on the end. Pretty nice, man. Pretty nice. And um, I have here the um, snap-on. 3 8 compact flex head ratchet the compact 3 8 so this is basically 
a quarter inch ratchet with a three eighths drive um, anvil. And um, I got to because I was in a situation where I was taking off a uh, what was that? Um, shoot, I I want to say it was the was the turbo. I can't even remember now. Uh, damn. No, it was the oil thermostat on a I believe it was a Volvo or Mac semi truck, and it was sandwiched between the frame rail and the actual thermostat, right? And so. I couldn't really get into it because I didn't have a small enough ratchet to actually get into that thing. So, two days later, snap on truck came. I was like, hey, man, you got this ratchet? They just happened to have it on the truck. They have what I need. I bought it. It is what it is. And I like it, man. This has really become one of my favorite ratchets um, as far as getting into tight spaces, man. So, I like it, you know? I think this is a good, um, this kind of ratchet with a quarter inch and three inch anvil is a good um, pair to a quarter inch um ratchet bit you know ratchet bit ratchet right to go along with those bits um that's good man this is really good i'm really glad i got this ratchet here and um also this quarter inch so and you notice this quarter inch is actually longer than this 3h compact you know so in places where this can't fit this will so that's crazy but anyways snap on did a really good job with this design when it comes to the compact size of it um and last but not least, we have the famous twin grip Connipex pliers, man. And I bought this off the Maco truck. The reason why is because it'll make my warranty a little more easier when, if and when I do wear this thing out, right? So, uh, and speaking of that, you notice I bought this off the Maco truck, but it's not branded Maco like it used to. I don't know if all of the Connipex tools are like this, but the Connipex tools from Maco that I've seen. Uh, it always had the Maco stamp on it. So, you know, I'm just kind of glad to see they left their name off of it to kind of be like, hey, this is Knipex Tools. We're partnering with Knipex. This is not ours. You know, for those that are touchy-feely about Maco's name and the rebrand, you know, the rebrand police, you know, I don't even want to talk about that. But <laughs> we all know if, you, if you're if a tool head and if you follow tools on um, YouTube, then we all know who the chief is of the Matco rebrand police is, right? I'm not saying no names. If you follow me, then you probably follow him too. So, yeah, it is what it is. But <laughs> I got the twin grip pliers, man. I got them because once again, when I buy tools, I buy tools because I, I've ran into a situation where I've needed them. And I was um, doing an overhead on a Volvo engine and, um, and one of the screws in there got rounded off. And I couldn't really get nothing in there to get it and take that baby out. Eventually, I did with, you know, thinking about shit and, you know, hey, this will work. This will work. And I thought, I was like, man, it would be so much easier if I just had those twin grip pliers to put that bad boy on top of that screw and take that baby off, right? So, the next week, what did I do? I ordered one. Bada boom, bada bay, right? <laughs> so, I'm glad I got that. And if you didn't know about the twin grip pliers, they are adjustable. I didn't even know until I bought it, right? Um, I saw the icon. Icon's coming out with their own version, of course, because that's what they do. I think somebody from Snap On and Connipex must have pissed them off or something because they're just making, you know, like, hey, they got it. We got it too. You know, that's pretty much what Icon's doing right now. I'm not mad at it. If it's good tools, it's good tools. I don't care about the prerogative. Not my business, honestly. But um, I saw how their price was adjustable. So I was wondering if. I was wondering if uh, the Connipex twin grip plier was also adjustable, and guess what, guys? They are, right? So you just, just like their groove, just like their uh, Cobra plier, just push that in, then it adjusts. I'm trying to do it with one hand here, but you see that? It adjusts to whatever size you need, whatever size you want, right? Close that baby back up. So, you know, it's pretty good. Pretty good pliers, man. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. But I'm sure I will when that time comes, man. So this is my tool haul here, guys. I know I've been kind of slow on the videos lately. Kind of going through a transition period when it comes to shooting videos. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. For real, for real. So this is my tool haul for now. And another one will be coming soon, guys. Another one will be coming soon. Remember about the toolbox update I told you guys about? It's coming soon, guys. So stay tuned. Click that subscribe button, right? Hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever my videos drop, right? Hey, go check out the channel, guys. You know what it is, y'all. Be easy.